Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Do you have uh, one of these guys, the Hoda D8 Pro or the Hobbymate D8 Pro Duo? Pretty much the same charger, right? Have you ever updated the firmware on your charger? I know, right? Firmware. We have firmware on our controllers, on our radios, goggles for some of us. We even have firmware for these guys. Um, I'm gonna show you how to update the firmware today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to this website, uh, hoda-exp.com. I'll put a link to this in the video description, just to make it a lot easier for you guys to find. We're gonna come down here to the firmware download and we're gonna look for the D8 Pro firmware. At least that's what I have on these two chargers. We're gonna download that. This is gonna download the firmware file. We also need to download the firmware updating utility. That is this one here under upgrade tools. Go ahead and download that as well. After you finish downloading those two files, you need to extract them. This one, I'm just gonna extract to the folder here. This is gonna give us our loading software. And the other one's gonna be packed in a RAR format, .rar. You're gonna probably need a separate utility. I use 7-zip. And I'll put a link to 7-zip in the video description there for you. So go ahead and extract that to someplace where you're gonna be able to find it as well. So here we have our .prg file. That is our firmware that we need. And then we have this program, the HT Loader. Let's go ahead and open that guy up. We're gonna be greedy with this window here. And it says, press channel button, connect power, connect USB, open file, and updates. Guess what? That doesn't work. Why would it, right? Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so this has press channel button, connect power, connect USB, and open file, and updates. That doesn't work. Don't do it in that order. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna hit open. We're gonna go and find that PRG file. And this is tell us what we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be hardware 101 and software 1040. Okay, now that we have that done, we gotta be pretty quick about this. We're gonna go and connect the charger and then hit update. You only have about a five to six second window to get this done. Here's what we have to do on the charger side. So something I like to do just just so I can see, I'll plug in the charger, and you're gonna to need to do this off of DC. Hold down the uh, task button, and we're gonna go down here to system information, and we're gonna see what we have here for our software version. We have 1.0.35, and I think the file that I downloaded is for 1.0.40. All right, so go ahead and take power back off the charger. You're gonna take your USB cable. We're gonna plug that right into the side of the guy here. And when we go to plug in the charger, we wanna be holding down the channel button. And I don't know if you can hear that, that beep. It's gonna keep beeping like that. That means it's actually in firmware updating mode. Back to the computer. And plug it in. Hear that sound? And hit update. There we go, it's checking, erasing the program, writing the data. And we're done. So there you go, folks. That's how I go about updating my Hoda D6, Hobbymate D6 Pro Duo chargers, the Hobbymate series of chargers. I don't know what the changes are in the firmware. I don't see a change log anywhere. If I do find a change log, I'll put a link to it in the video description. So that's how you update this charger. Let me know what you guys think. Put the comments in the comment thing, down in the comment thing, or down in the comment section, down where the comments go. Did I say comment? Uh, like and subscribe, call to action. I always forget to do that. Go to tweetfe.com, get yourself a set of radio grips, or uh, you can click those affiliate links at the bottom to help support the channel. Costs you nothing, and it really helps me out. Um, I have a bunch of other chargers to update or at least to check on how to update if you guys want to know how to do a lot of the isdt chargers let me know again the the commenty thingy yeah all right guys well i'll see you next time and as always folks stay positive